maybe uh, let us go uh, maybe to Danny and we will come back to you, uh, Feza, to give you time maybe to to have a better connection. If you agree, uh, Danny, and then we will try Feza at the end again. Danny, uh, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. you uh, maybe yeah. Okay, so let me uh, introduce you, Danny. Uh, let okay. Okay, let me introduce you uh, briefly, Danny. So Danny uh, Asogun is a public health physician with interest in a highly infectious disease epidemiology and social medicine at Ambrose Ali University, ECPOMA, and the Ruwa Specialist Teaching Hospital in Nigeria. So we listen to you, Danny. Okay, good afternoon. Everyone, Francine, and colleagues who are present on this meeting, my pleasure to talk about the Pandora activities in Nigeria in the last, since 2018, the achievements we have had, and then the next steps we are looking at to go forward. So, first of all, that the major activity we had was the mobile laboratory deployment in the wake of two outbreak situations. The first was um, the outbreak the, of Lassa fever in 2019, 2020, at um, a war in the Ondo State, Nigeria. So we took the mobile lab there and uh, were able to help reduce the turnaround time for diagnosis. And then the diagnostic facility for the for the states, um, people were able to have access to diagnosis of last around time, and why they were also able to beat local capacity building for the um, local scientists there on how to actually have a mobile lab. In, actually, in that case, we were able to train them in preparation for the stationary lab, which eventually they had. So these were the scenarios from the deployment. First two for Lassa fever, then later for COVID-19 in South South Nigeria. The slice below shows the COVID-19 response deployment of uh, the mobile lab. Then the other major activity we had in 2019 was the capacity building workshop for lab personnel, the, how to operate the mobile lab. The mobile lab is very key in outbreak situation in parts of West Africa when you don't have a lab in the lounge, in the big space of communities. So uh, we felt it was necessary to train personnel from across West Africa. And indeed, there were 18 in number in West Africa. And then one person, Steve, came from Congo Brazzaville we were trained on the mobile lab operations in preparation for outbreak and pandemic situations. So these are uh, scenarios again from the participant who came to Irua from West Africa and the Congo. Um, uh, they actually did a, a mock deployment and they were able to respond to that mock outbreak. Hands on experience during the workshop took place and then um, see some of the participants during the workshop. Then the other key activity we had during the Pandora one was the response to the global resurgence of mockingpox disease. We were able to do a survey of mockingpox in four states in Nigeria. This comprised sensitization awareness campaign in schools, hospitals, churches, 
mosque market in seven major states. Then as um, you heard during ISOBES presentation, we have been involved in efforts to develop the LIPS assay for mocking pulse diagnosis. So one of our lab personnel was with Asobel in Sierra Leone to learn the development of this LIP assay for mocking pulse diagnosis. So these are the pictures of uh, the campaign activities on mocking pulse in various um, uh, locations in Nigeria, markets, schools, uh, churches, mosques, and then um, various gatherings of people. Yeah, so some of the pictures from Sierra Leone, um, Fate, I would say, I think that's a super, or yeah, who oh, yeah, are in the lab uh, working on the, in the lips assay. Center picture is a section of women who have been sensitized on mocking pause. We also had the opportunity to do research training. Uh, mainly what happened was the establishment of the virtual research clinic, which was powered by Pandora to address the challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic. And future po and potential pandemics was better as an innovative response to a critical issue in the research community. So the clinic came to be because we felt that people were traveling to go and do research in far places or to even attend conferences. We can have a, a research clinic, a virtual research clinic, which has now been established. And this one is still in place today. Uh, so the Pandora STH research clinic is for training on research with the aim of fostering a research culture among a scientist. Now we do have a website, the virtual research clinic website, as you can see. Uh, already we are hosting some journals, collaborating with um, the university next to us, Ambrosali University. Uh, that's their journal, Archives of Clinical uh, Research. So the mission and vision of the clinic really is to, to be a national vis virtual research campus where researchers all over in Nigeria and beyond who could receive, come to receive support to do their scientific investigations. Pandora will embark on this mission using virtual cloud to support their work. So the goal is to provide the continuous support to higher institutions who are doing research and to foster a seamless research process of interview institutional teams by creating round the clock virtual support. So we want to do that with university research institutes, government bodies, and the services from the clinic will include face-to-face -face coaching, if you have a person around, clinic consultations for to solve research problems, reviews, collaborative support, statistical analysis, ethics and scientific review support. We also do project management, data management, mentorship, especially for students, and they support people in uh, grant writing and uh, publications. So this collaboration with universities could be through webinars and collaboration. We have started doing that already. So this year we have had we have got organized a short course on research theory and practice. I've done that for medical students. We have had a research integrity webinar. Don't know where people were able to attend. The topic was retraction in science public publishing, what it means and how to handle it. One of our key facilitators from here. Uh, we also we have done that with some federal university too, health sciences of Nigeria here. For specifically for medical students, we have an intensive, we had an intensive course in research methods using the virtual research clinic. Uh, there was a, um, yeah, we also had another one for empowering medical students to be able to host the, the global webinar, Healthy with the Heart, here in the virtual research clinic. Well, some of the 
clinic officers are here. Uh, as you can see, they are on our website, we go there. The idea is to grow a future research for early career research, uh, scientists, the masters and PhD, and the uh, in doing this, we hope to sustain a critical mass of Africa scientists who are prepared to take on future threats of, uh, of pandemics and outbreaks uh, using the research platform. So some of the trainees during our research uh, clinics who have been there. Now, beyond these ones, who have also have had activities in Pandora, uh, during the pandemic, we were able to engage patients who are COVID-19 positive to help them conquer fear, depression, anxiety. We had the community engagement sensitization. We, during that time of the lockdown, we were able to provide hand sanitizers and then face masks and then support. We have also supported the management of Lassa fever. Uh, by giving them giving ISTH, a dialysis machine. In these pictures, we can see the IPC workshop that had in Abuja. Uh, Last time training workshop also had in Abuja. On my right is the dialysis machine that was given by Pandora to support clinical management of Lassa fever. And this is helped to reduce fatality due to renal shutdown for those who have complications of Lassa fever. So these were some of the community engagement activities during the pandemic. Hand sanitizers, the trainings on how to wash hands, uh, use of face mask, and then of course, uh, this, uh, this leaflet on how to, on for those who had COVID-19. Mm. Uh, there were some publications with some Pandora colleagues. Uh, they are here. Uh, about one to three from them where we are sitting with uh, colleagues from Pandora. Now, what are the next steps we are looking at for Pandora from ISTH Nigeria? Because during the first uh, in Pandora one, we identified some gaps where we wish to pursue uh, sustainability in the next few years. One of such area is a um, mocking pause. We want to actually look at the I said the epidemiological characteristics of mocking virus in four selected states in Nigeria. We also wish to investigate the transmission dynamics of mocking post virus among humans and between humans and animals. Identify potential animal reservoirs of mocking post virus in Nigeria. And then very importantly, to evaluate and develop targets for serological diagnostic methods for improved mocking pulse antibody detection. We also want to look at the, what we call the Shore Africa project. This one means strengthening university research education. This is uh, going to be an initiative of Pandora ISTH virtual research clinic with the objective of one, to develop and implement a comprehensive research methodology curriculum for universities. Establish research mentorship program to facilitate workshop on effective literature review to promote ethical research practices. Uh, we also want to explore the causes of Lassa fever beyond of febrile illnesses beyond Lassa fever. There are a lot of cases of persons who test them for suspect Lassa fever, but uh, at the end of the day, you don't find anything, but they are feverish and they are febrile, they are ill. So we want to look at the prevalence of parasite of unknown origin among such patients and also try to explore potential etiological factors for this unexplained parasite. And then they are said the diagnostic challenges faced by, by, by health, health providers and provide recommendation for improving the management of unexplained parexia in our settings. And then this whole sustainability plans for all this program, we have packaged them to what we call the uh, 
secret that is strengthening education and clinical research, epidemiology transfer skills, secrets. This initiative aims to use the transformation for research education to promote sustainable environment for early career researchers and their future researchers too uh, in this region. So the sustainability plan will involve nurturing the interest of young minds in clinical research, which we can address. And then the global progress also should be made in reducing the body of facial diseases and further advancing advancement in knowledge by building capacity in nations who are heavily affected by these diseases. So what are the methods for this um, um, sustainability? We wish to do, among other things, develop education program for universities from certificate to post-doctorate levels, train education and research experts as PG levels. For example, for the mocking post, we hope to engage already, of course, faith is already there. And then for Lassa Fever, we hope to engage a PhD student for Lassa Fever. And then four major outputs for the next phase will, will be that uh, at the end of the day, we're hoping to be able to develop a mocking post diagnosis skills and laboratory, establish and sustain Lassa Fever and the fevers of unknown origin. Uh, which will involve transferable epidemiology and the uh, diagnostic skills. Develop a virtual research campus for continuing research capacity, strengthening and collaboration between the industry and the academia. And uh, we also hope to develop special uh, uh, epidemiology in research and monitoring. So these are, these are the presentation we have today from uh, IST Pandora, and we want to sincerely appreciate uh, Pandora coordination as led by Francine, Professor Francine Tony, uh, Zumra Ali, and a lot of other senior colleagues in Pandora. And we also appreciate the EDCTP, who provided the funds. Of course, management of our hospital, Federal Ministry of Health, um, and other partners. So I want to thank you for your kind of attention. And over from here, and there is there are questions, I'm happy to take them. Thank you. Thank you very much, Danny, for this very inspiring presentation.